Hi folks, um, in this video I'm going to show you some set analysis on how to disregard uh, selection selections in a, f uh, in a dimension. So for example, um, we have a, chart, a straight table over here with country as the dimension and some quantity ex as the expression. If we make selections um, for week 4, 5 and 6, the quantities change. If we choose year month, the quantities ch uh, change. If we select a certain number of days, these quantities will change. But let's say, for instance, when you choose month, you don't want the selection to change as it did when I chose uh, January. So if we clear the selection and we go into the properties of this chart and in some quantity we're going to add some set analysis. So we're going to say going to say we want uh, two curly brackets and the less than or equal to sign and then within that we're going to say month equals and that's it so now what's going to happen is we click OK and choose a month this will not change however if we choose year month it will change because we don't have we're not disregarding year months in our uh, selection so if we go back into properties we can just add year months to the set by saying comma year month equals click OK and now we clear and try and make a selection for month or year month it does make no difference to the the expression so you can see we're disregarding any selections made in month and year month. Now if we go ahead and clear again and choose a number of weeks, that's fine, or choose specific uh, dates, they will all change. And again we can continue on with this for as long as we, uh, for as many fields as you, you don't want. So we could say week equals comma year equals comma date equals so now we click OK click OK again we basically disregarded these five dimensions we have here so if we make any selections in here it won't make any difference to the chart over here because we're telling uh, using set analysis to disregard those selections that's pretty much it I hope that helps and I'll see you next video